Thank you for joining me in this watercolor lesson of painting the flower. Me then send me their watercolor papers, or are one hundred percent cotton. Three types of textures: cold press, hot press, and rough. For me to do some comparisons in my demonstrations. If you want to try these papers, look down in the descriptions for the coupon code. Today I'm going to use the hot press paper for this lesson. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, here's an exciting new reason for you to subscribe now. From here on, I will publish three new learning videos every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Sunday, the reference image for the video that most viewed and commented, I will upload it on YouTube for my subscribers to download. How to subscribe? Click the subscribe button below this video. I will give you five seconds before we start the painting. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at EnjoyingArt.com brushes. For this painting, especially add the alizarin crimson to the color that I use. Compared to the Windsor red, alizarin crimson is a more a cooler red. Okay, let's take a look at where we're going to put the flower in the middle of the paper. I'm going to put it right here, and the top is going to be there, and the bottom is going to be the bottom over here, and this is the tip right there. So I'm going to have a little bit light color, and right in here. Okay, this is good, like that. And the bottom, I'm going to have it right here, like that. Okay. And the stem at the bottom over here is going to be coming from here down all the way, like that. Okay, this is good. Let's do the planning. And it looks like the width very much equals to the height. So we're going to see. The left side and the right side. Okay, here we go. And then the left side right in here. Like that. And the top of this flower has to be focusing on just getting the larger shape. This is good. Right over here. And coming down all the way like this. Here you go. So one thing at a time, composition, it's very important. In the middle over here, that is the lightest shape. So at this point, we just need to focus on what's the lightest shape that we're going to leave it. And everything else, we're going to cover it with the light color. All right, this is good. And this is big enough flower. And I'm going to use the flat brush. I'm not going to use too too much water, but I need to make sure the brush is all soaked and all ready soft. So then I'm just gonna take enough the light pink. Okay, here you go. Mix it well. This is good. Now I'm gonna start right over here. Just use. Look at that side, and this step also do two at once. One is to apply the light color. Second, we uh, wet the space. Okay, that's good. Like that, so you can see I leave this light shape around. That's good. Everything else could be a little bit darker. Okay, coming all the way down over here. That's good. And at the top over here, I'm gonna put that little bit tip right here, like that. And leave it just a little bit light right there as well. So after next to the highlight, we need to 
this, shade everything else. Okay, this hot press paper is very smooth. There's not much texture or not much tool on the uh, paper. So if you have too much water, it's going to directly running down. There's not much texture to holding it back. Okay, this is good. Now, after we have this light color, we're gonna start adding a little bit darker color. And that's just wet into wet, right? Now I'm gonna take a look at the tip over here. Just focus on that as need to be. And also keep a little texture coming down like this. Here we go. Like this on this side. Taking care of the larger, larger shape. There you go. The middle over here. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit larger shape. There you go, like that. And don't forget at the bottom, it has shadow, a lot darker. I'm gonna have this a little bit more. Okay, this side a little bit darker and even have a little bit bluish on this side. Okay, here you go. Like that. When they get to the shadow, I have a little bit more blue. So I'm gonna take a little bit red shade blue color, which is French other marine. And I'm gonna have mix it a little bit well. That's is good. And right here, let's see where your brush how you applied the color and from that side coming over here and then coming down over here I have a little bit more blue at the bottom this is pretty good uh, even more blue the bottom over here here you go this is good okay the bottom over here too that's good. I see a little bit darker. Also, the color change. Here we go. Like that. The detail, we can work on that a little bit later, but it's very, very important getting the light and dark and light and shadow correctly. And lots of people will see the bottom over here. It has uh, white. It's a, so not a white shape. So it's a little bit smaller area and I'm going to clean the brush, change it to the calligraphy brush. It actually a gray color, but it has some yellow in it. So I'm going to take the yellow color. Now see, I'm going to take the yellow color, but you also have red and the blue. Okay, so it need to be darker. So there's three colors together. Now I have a little bit more like the yellow tone. Here you go. But it's need to be dark. Squint your eyes so you can see that a little bit better. Now I'm gonna have that put in here with this color. Now it's make sure it's dark enough. Okay, here we go. Here we go, that's good. We're gonna see how we're gonna live up the color, make it a little bit lighter. That's just pretty good. And while we are having this brush, I'm gonna come up the top over here, set this little shape right here. And I'm gonna open the brush up a little bit. So we're gonna have a little bit dry brush. I'm gonna open this. That's good. Like that you can use just a portion of the brush head that could be fine like that that's good okay that a little bit smaller shadow on the top over here and also over here on the light side have a little bit more just the alizarin and in the bottom have a little bit more of the blue mix into it okay that's good like that okay that's good 
very well and the top over there I'm gonna add a little bit uh, detail right in here that's good okay here you go like that and that's good and it's still a little bit too wet but you're gonna see coming down over here okay now I'm gonna just have this a little bit lighter this is a little bit too dark I also have softer and the edge over here this is good and I have that a little bit a little bit darker on the edge over here too so you have to be a little bit careful about how much water that you introduced to the paper okay that's good you can add a little bit detail like this so you can add or you can also light up to create the separation okay and the tip over here I'm gonna have a little bit darker that's just good also a little bit over here too this coming down I'm gonna open up the brush a little bit as well Sometimes we want the brush to be sharp. Sometimes we want the brush to be open up as a dry brush. Okay, that's good. That's good. Over here, have a little bit texture. Look at the texture direction. That's good. Like that. Lead the color directly to the middle. Okay, this is pretty good. We're going to add a little bit more and also to try to do a little bit lifting and the top over there I'm gonna have just a little bit tiny tiny purple color seeing that's right over here that's good just a little bit of this light color okay that's just good also give a little bit more just directly add a little bit blue color over here overlaid right here like that so it's a little bit darker but also the color change okay i'm gonna open up the brush again have that okay that's good and have a little bit more alizarin in the middle over here That's good. Okay. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna open a little bit, have a little edge over here. A little bit darker. A little bit more clear, but it's not super clear. Okay, I leave the color a little bit more in here. That's good. Now soften that light a bit right here that's good soften that a little bit okay it's pretty good okay on the other side i'm gonna have a little bit more clear right here a little bit more clear okay that's good now with the uh, small amount of value contrast now you can see the two different flower petals now they are separated okay all right so far so good now we're going to see how we're going to live the color and how much we can live up with this paper okay that's good all right we already get the, the rough shape for the flower. Now I'm going to continue walking down to the stem. And then we come back to finish the detail. We'll use a little lifting, use a little adding, right? And then I'm going to just use the yellow in here with a pretty fresh. So I'm going to use the green shade blue color. Okay, this is good. Start from light shape. OK, 
Okay, that's good. Now, when I see it, move a little bit more to the right and right here. So this is good. You can paint the whole shape with the light color and then come back to make the shadow side a little bit darker. So I'm going to push this down. Gradually coming down like this. This is good. Here we go. And and you can adjust whether or not that is dark enough on the light side, focusing on the color of the light side. Okay, I maybe have a little bit a little bit more pink. So get a little bit more blue, a little bit more yellow. Now you can see the color. Ooh, that have a little bit more yellow. That's just good. Alright, I'm gonna have a little bit more. You see that that's a little bit uh thicker color. This is good. And since we have this color, we are going to uh, have a little bit darker. So I'm going to have, get a little bit more blue, think about that. Uh, now get a little bit darker, but it's not just darker. It also need to be a little bit more gray too. Okay, I need to have a little bit more red into it. So this color will become less bright, okay, on the shadow side. Okay. It's about like this. That's good. Not too much water. Okay. Be aware of it. it's not much too in the uh, paper. So I'm gonna. That's good. I'm gonna start from the top over here. Now this is still wet. But this is good. It's not too bad right now. So it's coming down. This all this color also include their color on the reflection okay and then we're gonna add the color in the middle a little bit darker like that I'm gonna have this down let's see coming down okay lead the color down okay here we go that's good we now create a rough three-dimensional okay Okay, when this is wet, it's very easy to remove the color. So it's not use the brush, tap too much on it. Okay, that's good. All right, now we're gonna actually use a little bit yellow here. Now I'm gonna to actually move this color up a little bit. You can just use the brush with water. In that case, it could make it uh, removing too much. So now I'm going to use clean the brush. Okay, now I'm going to come back to the flower over here. Now I'm going to see whether or not we can smooth the area. Okay, can do it. Can do a little bit. Okay, and but usually hot brush paper is a little bit more difficult to lift up. Now I'm going to use the flat brush. Okay, let's see. This is my first time using uh, the medium uh, hot brush paper. So this is good to know. And you're going to be the judge. And please let me know from your observation. And is this paper good for you? And it's good. It's got a little bit smoother. Now it's a little bit better right here. That's good. I'm going to make this a little bit smoother too. And we're very much using the same set of techniques on the cold press paper. And always set the color to the painting. And then using the lifting and adding to balance. And right now we're doing a balance. So now pretty good. It looks like we can we can lift up. So I'm gonna have this have a little bit lighter shape. That's good. And keep it going over here. 
Okay, a little bit coming, a little bit coming in just to the corner. Not that straight, a little bit bended, curve. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter too. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay, now coming on to this side. I also gonna have a little bit, a little bit lighter on the edge. Okay, here we go. A little bit lighter. Like this, pretty good. And a little bit lighter at the bottom over here. Okay. Okay, soften that a little bit. Don't need to be too clear. I'm going to be top over here. Also a little bit softer. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Very good. And now we'll come back with the thread brush, uh, the calligraphy brush first. Now I'm going to actually uh, lift up a little bit over here. It's going to be add up a little bit darker color. And let's take a look with the lizard Lizuin right here when I have this a little bit more clear. Okay, here we go, like that. And on the outside, I'm gonna have just a little bit more. They're showing as another tone. Right here, coming down. That's good. Like that, that's good. Coming in over here. Here you go. Now I'm going to use just the water to soften the color and have it continue. Okay, give it a little bit more right here. Now we're really seriously working into the detail. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have a little bit of lizard over here too. Here you go, like this. Now, after adding this color in here, we do two things. One is create the separation between these two petals. And also on this side, we have uh, the change colors and seeing there's two different plane of the, on the same flower petal. Okay, here you go, coming down. At the bottom over here, it doesn't really need to be that clear. So important. Now coming to the other side, I still have a little bit of lizard, so I'm gonna have that the top over here, have that connected right here, and also so you can use a uh, the calligraphy brush slowly, slowly, and working into the details. Okay, this is good. And compare this color and this color. This color is not really as dark, right? So it'll be doesn't need to be that dark and control it. And this, I want to come out a little bit slightly. That's good, like that. And put it good, a little bit smoother. Okay, put it good. Over here, give a little bit darker, a little bit detail, like that. That's just good. Now I'm going to be use a little bit medium value alizarin. I'm going to have this fine tune the connection right on the tip over here and come down a little bit. This is pretty good. And if you want this a little bit more clear, you can uh, add a little bit darker tone next to the lighter tone. Okay, that's good. Now, this a little bit stem is already shrinking a little bit. Now I'm gonna use, apply a little bit more, introduce more uh, texture. And I'm gonna open up the 
a brush here and I'm gonna first open it okay like this and this white cloud gold here it's very easy to stay in the shape here we go this is good not too too dark here you go this is good now I'm gonna open it up now let's take a look right from here that's coming down and here you go a little bit texture coming this way that's good little bit texture like this beautiful little bit texture over here here we go and create the form of three dimensional okay right over here that's good okay on this side now we can see this curve over pretty well already okay looking at the larger larger movement is very important so now I'm going to actually light up a little bit in the middle over here just use the calligraphy brush open up as a flat brush now this is pretty good uh, size flat brush now I'm going to have this light up a little bit this can be a little bit smaller oh see that it's very easy to lift up the color so we can use the lift up very well to have this the color change the details that's just pretty good then overdo it a little bit over here too lift it up a little bit carefully okay that's good now i'm going to come back over here just clean the brush this is not so easy there's already staying with the paper surface so we can use a little bit more alizarin onto this side i'm gonna have this come out a little bit we want it to be out a little bit more okay that's good that out a little bit more like that we're gonna have this color a little bit darker so and also over here we can push it out a little bit a little bit more curve okay this is good i'm gonna open up the brush and have this a little bit smoother like this pretty good and this side the movement the direction of the surface is different okay that's good like that a little bit over here too okay and and have this a little bit this is pretty good look at on the other side i'm gonna have slightly turn a little bit more blue so i'm gonna open the brush a little bit like this and and here you go There you go, a little bit darker, like that. There you go. Now turn a little bit, turn into a little bit lighter on the other side. So we need to add a little bit French other marine. Open it up. And with a little bit water. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, here you go. Here we got this pretty good. This is the turn to a little bit more shadow side. Okay, and this is good enough. I'm gonna soften that. And here you go. Still seeing a little big shadow reflection. That's good. That's very well. 
And the bottom over here, I'm going to light up a little bit. This is a little bit too much uh, color accumulate at the bottom over here. Now I'm going to just lift it up and make it a little bit lighter. But still, I really, I really need you to see how the light and shadow are different. So compare this color to the top over here. This is a lot darker, right? So this is good. Light up a little bit. Okay, change this a little bit lighter at the bottom over here. That's good. And the next thing, I'm gonna have this slightly little bit lighter. This is good. Okay, and pretty well. It looks just pretty nice. I'm gonna have this out a little bit tiny more. Okay, I'm gonna have this curve a little bit. Now I'm gonna come back over here, just a hair more. Okay, like this. That's good. Okay, have a little bit more over here. This is glazing. You're adding a very tiny, tiny, thin layer onto the painting. That's glazing. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit, mix this two color together. We can see that a little bit over here. And a little bit darker, like that. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have just a little bit tiny, tiny more. Open up the brush a little bit, tiny, tiny more, like this. That's good. Okay, and coming down a little bit here. That's good. And the top over here, I'm gonna make it a bit lighter. Wash that a little bit. Let, let go. Too much wet. I'm gonna have that. Watch that a little bit more softer, right in the top. That's getting more and more detail, right? More and more. That's pretty good. I like the turn much better. Okay. And very nice. Come back to the stem. Now I'm gonna use the same color and refine the bottom over here. Here you go. So if you see the texture you don't want, don't immediately add on it. It just let it drive. Okay, now continue coming down a little bit straight. That's good. That's good, like that. And on the front over here, we want it to be a little bit wider. I'm gonna get just get the yellow color. Okay, that's pretty good. Have a little big, a little big blue color. Tiny, tiny, a little bit more blue. This is good. Now I'm going to paint onto the light side. And also going to make this a little bit wider in the middle over here. That's is good. That's good. That's very good. And I'm gonna meet, make the shadow over here. Adding a little bit more color. It's a little bit too watery. I'm gonna just tap, tap and introduce the darker color in it. Okay, I have a little bit red. Just keep in mind, if you don't want the color too, too bright, you gotta have the complementary color. The complementary color for the green, that would be the red. Okay, tap tap on it. Okay, that's good. 
and also use that as right in the middle of the stem. Okay. And here go. a little bit more. And you can see a little bit later inside the uh, shadow side and uh, on the edge. So it make it feel like a reflection. Okay, that's good. Like that. Get a little bit darker. Okay, let's take a look at the flower up over here. And and if you want to make that feel a little bit darker, and you can also make the other area a little bit lighter right here. I'm gonna chip into over here, make it a little bit lighter like that. This is good. Okay, depends on how much color you want to lift up. Okay, don't introduce too much water onto this paper. Okay, be a little gentle. Now I'm gonna come to the top over here, open up a little bit, and take a look at the tip over here. Like that. That's good. Now I have a, little, a few lines coming down like this. That's good. Here you go. And very well. You got a lot more convincing detail. It's very good. That's good. And aware of how much water you introduce. You don't want too much water, but you can have no water. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have that a little bit tiny more. Okay, that's good. Also on this side, introduce a little bit tiny more texture. Now it's already dry. Okay, that's pretty good. Now make this side a little bit more. I'm gonna have introduce a few texture right here, like that. That's good. Okay, this is how we start from the large uh, form gradually go into the smaller, smaller detail. And this side doesn't need to be too clear. This is fine. Like that. And take a look at the bottom over here. I think this is pretty good. The form is pretty good. And right at the bottom over here, have a little bit more blue color. Add the shadow. Down over here, I'm gonna extend it a little bit lower. Okay. Can soften that and connect to the bottom area color. That's just good. Hang a bit. There's a little bit more curve. Like this. Pretty good. Have a little bit more blue down over here too. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now this painting. On the medium hot press watercolor paper is completed. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I do this in another YouTube channel. The link is in the description. I will see you in my next video.